Fritillaria are a fascinating genus of bulbs, species from Europe, around the Mediterranean, from Asia and from North America. This is Fritillaria sibthorpiana, golden yellow flowers and one of the first of the genus to flower for us. Here we have Fritillaria imperialis, the one that everyone wants to grow. This is a young specimen, only one flower. More mature plants will have up to six of these flowers in a whirl around the top. Said to be difficult to grow, but if you go to the website, we can tell you exactly how to grow them. This is Fritillaria verticillata. It's an Asian species, native to Japan, Korea, Mongolia, right through to Kazakhstan. The flowers are followed by seed heads, and this is a species that will self-seed. If you look carefully at the inside of the petals, you will see some tessellation going on in there, a little checkered pattern, beautiful plant to have in the garden, or grow it in containers. Fritillaria uva vulpus, with its bell-shaped flowers, deep maroon, with yellow lips, is an absolutely wonderful plant for full sun. It does require a well-drained soil, but again, it's a very easy species to grow. Fritillaria persica is commonly called the Persian lily. It's from southeast Turkey, right through to Syria, Israel and Iraq. It's tall growing, reaching about one metre or three feet in height. The flowers are a plum purple colour, however, there are a number of cultivars with different coloured flowers. It grows well in full sun to part shade. It's not widely available, but certainly well worth looking for. This is Fritillaria meleagris, commonly called the snake's head fritillary. It has wonderful chequered bulbs. It's a Eurasian species, so it comes from Europe right through to Asia. It's very easy to grow. There is a variety that has a white chequered bulb. With well over a hundred species of Fritillaria available, the flowers vary greatly in colour and shape, as does the growth habit. For more information on Fritillaria and other interesting bulbs, visit the website.